Hi guys, once again this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com I'm here today to talk about a little free uh, strategy that we've shared on our site. We call it the Drift Shifter Strategy. Um, you can download this strategy for free at BinaryOptionsTutor.com uh, We got this idea as kind of an improvisation on a theme um, based on something we were uh, some ideas we saw floating around a binary options forum. Uh, so, but the ideas were in uh, Thinkorswim, and we converted some of that code over to MT4, and we took our own shot at actually uh, putting together uh, what we done was a simple wave-based uh, retracement strategy. So this is gonna be a quick five-minute strategy uh, and of course there's a lot of ways you can use this template but I'm gonna go over the fundamental uh, core strategy of looking for the retracements to the neutral line and taking some five-minute uh, positions so <coughs> let's jump right in and I went into some detail on the uh, on the PDF but I want to touch on some things while we're while we're uh, here trading uh, looking at this on a chart and also I want to touch on some updates that we've done so let's let's uh, cover that first you'll notice that some of these oscillations are now grayed out uh, we're calling this area our gray area and what this is denoting is weakness in whatever that oscillation is so this is an oscillation down uh, so there's some weakness here now there are several ways there are, well I'll give you two ways right now that you can trade uh, these gray areas one way and the original reason for placing the gray areas in is to avoid when what we perceive to be a ripple in the actual drift in the wave that the market's predominantly going to move in what we avoiding when those ripples simply turn into a new phase shift or a drift shift in the market if you start to see these gray areas uh, just get out of the market just there's no reason to speculate when you're seeing those show up inside of the pattern wait wait and get a more confirmed piece of uh, data from your indicator now the second way we can look at trading these is to uh, look at them as range bound which they are this is kind of delineating that you're in a certain range uh, based on what we've coded and you can take advantage and try and exploit that range now we've just seen an arrow here going down we're obviously oscillating down and this is the bottom of our channel this red this is the bottom of our channel this yellow this is neutral the center of our channel this green this would be the top of our channel okay we're oscillating down but it's a weak trend and we've hit the bottom and we saw a bounce off we're covering a little price action here but price action don't make it about PA versus price action let's just make it about using price action to be subjective using uh, the indicators to help us be objective and, and using that synergy we just saw a rejection of price at the channel right there price is coming back down to touch the channel again there's an opportunity if we're in a range bound market there's an opportunity to go ahead and take your call now this is contrary to the strategy and this is a counter trend strategy uh, but in a range bound market <laughs> Uh, counter trend trading can be a, a little more rewarding 
in a market that's not trading in a range, uh, especially if you're trading spot, uh, there's you don't know how long that that trend is going to continue. Uh, so uh, staying and remaining a part of that action can be more rewarding. That's all I'm saying there. Now, so you've got your two two sides to that coin, which is just okay. I see a gray area here. I'm looking for range bound trading. I'm looking for chop. I'm looking for indecision in the market. I just don't want to participate in an environment like that. Or perhaps you're someone who can counter trend trade. Okay, I'm looking for a strong moves all the way to the bottom of the channel. I'm looking for some confirmation at that bottom of the channel. And that confirmation came here with the rejection. Now I'm, we're touching that bottom of that channel again. And we're just going to play off of it and take our quick five minute call. I'm using the same template. I'm only using this template in a different way. Now, let's continue with our drift shifter strategy. We're looking for three steps. Step one, uh, the start of the drift. This is the, this is the zero line on our CCI oscillator. This is where we start the drift above that zero line. Step two, we're looking for a confirmation by the moving average crossing, fast moving average crossing slow. As I've mentioned in previous videos, we got that confirmation there. Really, uh, we see the arrow painting here because we would wait until this. The arrow would have actually painted here, but we're only going to actually. You're going to see these arrows show up on these on the charts after the after the the accidents happen, and, and the arrow is going to stick here because the arrow would have already closed here you could jump in on the start of that crossing there but a moving average crossing a fast moving average crossing a slow can very easily simply cross back in the opposite direction uh, and although we had some oscillations it's very very we just had the oscillation up so we're suggesting a little caution make make sure that everything is closed and there's not going to repainting isn't an issue when you simply wait until the candles close uh, now here this arrow would have appeared at the first of the candle and it would have stuck because we've already closed once with a candle with with, with a crossing of the uh, 12 I'm sorry the 14 five moving average over the 14 moving average and that's all these candles represent now that's step two step one oscillating oscillating up or down in this instance it was up that's the start of a drift step two confirmation of the drift and that's confirmed with the moving average crossing denoted by this arrow you're going to hear audio signals uh, oscillating up you're going to hear audio signal here buy signal of course you can get in on that candle you can do a call next five minutes after that little ding and buy yes you, you could have gotten out with a win if that's the way you want to trade this strategy and sometimes why I mention this in the PDF is because at times when the trend becomes very uh, dynamic, you're not going to get a retracement all the way back down to the neutral line. And it's a, it's a very strong uh, wave pattern that you're seeing. And just the angle of price moving up higher high, higher high, higher high. And if you're seeing that, higher low, higher low, higher low you're not going to get that pullback back to the neutral line so there's an argument for trading in that fashion also maybe you can knock out two maybe three trades in this short span of time and maybe you're done for the day so that's all of that good arguments for that way if that's your style of trading if you get if you get confident and comfortable trading high frequency like that 
what I suggested was a little bit at the core a little bit more uh, softer style which is just waiting for retracements back to the neutral line to those who love Fibonacci this is just a 50% retracement uh, because we've got a channel here which is denoted by 10 intervals in this case it's five minutes and this neutral line here is at 50% of that channel now let's go through some trades first trade we would have been in uh, uh, up cycle that's that's our drift cycle uh, we see the market touch this neutral line we do a call that trade is a loss again we're aware that we just lost that trade we're still in that up cycle we do another call that trade is a win okay you've won one trade you've lost one trade let me stop here and touch on a little idea that i talked about briefly in the book this is just another improvisation on the theme uh, we're going to talk about uh, money management just a little bit if you've looked at the previous videos i pretty much denoted five percent per trade is being uh, a good place to cap your risk on one trading idea now let's let's kind of remix that idea and let's leg into this strategy on the very first touch of this neutral line what if for the sake of math and making it simple let's say you're trading with a hundred dollars what's five percent of that hundred dollars five dollars okay what if you place a dollar on that trade and you're tasting the market okay now that trade was going to lose guess what you still got four dollars of your five dollars left taste the market again that trade won now you've only been right half the time but yet you're profitable you've tilted the broker's advantage on a 70 percent return a little bit more in your favor uh you've gotten a little deeper and and that's all that's all you've done uh you could take that same uh one four uh, on a five percent and just apply that and you know if you've got a strategy in that instance even if the strategy can hold at 50 percent it can be profitable that's all I'm saying about that and actually this isn't a video about money management now uh, let's this there's another instance we touch that neutral line oscillation still up We're still in a drift cycle up been confirmed by that move uh, across there so we're still drifting up this cross represented nothing but this 14 moving average and this five moving average moving ahead of it and it's still the case so we're still in that up cycle we're going to take another call uh, that's tight but uh, we'll, we'll call it a win uh, depending on your broker <laughs> but uh, we'll call it a win okay here's another opportunity we never even touched the neutral cycle uh, that the neutral center I mean of this this uh, price channel however here we touch the bottom now w there's an opportunity for you to stay out of the market at this point because we've got a very very weak uh oscillation here and there's a possibility that we may we may just cross over and and totally start a new drift shift so you could pause there because part of trading sometimes is waiting waiting for the clues in the market so you could pause there or maybe you're more aggressive and you're going to say look i'm at the bottom of this channel i've seen rejection at the channel before i'm going to go ahead and do another call here yeah in spite of the fact that this is a down candle 
you would have still probably made it out with some uh, with a win there and here's in my mind a better place all of this area here I don't really like this area because uh, the camels are very small yeah we're oscillating above but all of these are closing uh, pretty pretty low this 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 is a healthy oscillation above the zero line here but looking at price action because we're not we're trying to merge both of these price action as well as the indicator got a wick here a substantial wick at the top there so uh, we kind of got to knock out this here and there goes a nice little southern turn this here <laughs> uh, uh, oscillation to the upside we're seeing all of these this tight action here not something I'm interested in trading I mentioned that in a PDF uh, all you can assume when you're seeing this low volatility and these these tight candle closes is that that's going to continue at least near term and that's something that can affect your win loss rate even if the market does move in the direction that you're speculating on because it's not enough of a move and it may not register on your particular broker's platform in your favor so this is a healthier place here uh, that's why i placed this arrow and uh we're gonna go ahead take that touch of the neutral line and we've got a healthy move to the upside we were doing a call red vertical line here what's this all about two hours roughly two hours of trading from there to there where wins versus losses we're doing a, a, a hell of a job part of trading is also don't give it all back uh, don't stick around long enough for the market to turn on you instead take what the market's giving you walk away and uh, come back to trade another day uh, it's very hard to break yourself conceptually if you're going to move from uh, a business model where you're working for yourself uh, be it trading uh, be it uh, in music be it in sports etc you've got to move yourself from the model of uh, hourly wage or uh, the conceptually I get paid for doing something uh, with music uh, or software development or uh, these are these are things that we've been involved in sometimes there's residual payment uh, you're not going to be necessarily doing anything but someone new is discovering work that you've done prior uh, maybe a, a song that you've already written going a composition that you've already participated in is being used in a new uh, commercial perhaps and you're going to receive some type of benefit residual benefit from that trading is not about getting paid by the hour you don't have to work eight hours two hours denoted right here you've got your wins on the day um, it's an opportunity to leave before the market has the opportunity to turn on you conceptually you're getting yourself out of the uh, practice of I get paid by the hour I get paid for doing something with trading sometimes you get paid just for waiting for the right opportunity to capitalize okay I'm off that rant uh, and we're you can make the argument are you trading or uh, binary options isn't trading I'm ready for somebody to make that argument okay speculating you've got to capture the right opportunity now here's some anomalous behavior and what I mean by that is an anomaly is something that happens but you're not necessarily expecting it to happen we've got a arrow right here as our moving average has crossed and that's a down cycle but wait 
our oscillations that they may have been going back and forth but there that one closed perfectly neutral and this one closed we're still it's saying up oh, okay what what do we do here nothing again we're back to that subject of trading on uh, sometimes being a game of waiting okay there goes our first candle it's closing significantly down after those three candles closing up this is down below the neutral line but we're still not in a drift cycle that would denote down until this candle closes and we see that oscillation down there now we are in a downward drift cycle but we've got our shades of gray here what's this telling us wait wait a little more because we're in a particular range that we've marked off and there's still a possibility of there's more of a possibility of a rebound in the market so Let's just wait another candle, get a little more confirmation. <laughs> okay, now this candle here, this candle closed with a strong, and somewhere in this candle, we would have already started to see a strong uh, drift on the CCI down. And back here, we've already crossed down back here so it's an opportunity it's a safer place uh, and this is also one of those kind of if you're going to be on high frequency a high frequency speculator uh, there's strong momentum right there one one two three candles you see there's momentum and in, in somewhere in this third candle you start to see some strong momentum and if you're just going to ride this very powerful powerful momentum going down then there are some opportunities to do some puts that's not the core strategy however the core strategy is to wait for a retracement to our neutral line all the way over to the other side of the channel now strong indication here that we're seeing strong drift oscillation down price actions just telling us the same thing uh, one thing that's showing up here with these deviation levels is tracked by CCI and that's the reason I like uh, this strategy because uh, again there's a consternation between um, well the moving averages are slow and the price is all that matters etc etc well the CCI is using the linear deviation and so you're going to have that current price or looking at things conceptually based on distance and the cross over here is just a moving average cross so looking at things uh, if you're in that camp that looks at momentum in the market or movement or wave oscillations so you've you've got both sides of that coin in one strategy in one side looking at uh, rate of change based on uh, the time uh, five intervals over 14 or based on s the movement of price over deviation levels so that's if you don't understand that if that was jargon put it on the shelf uh, you, you all you have to understand is here's the wave here's the wave here and that wave was drifting down although we do see that this oscillation down is getting smaller and smaller and smaller all that's indicating is the same thing that the charts indicating because these candles down were getting smaller and smaller and consolidating as well that's because this is based on price and this is just another compression of price data that's all I was saying with that 
two different ways of displaying the same data. Data is fed into this software via uh, the ticks on a, the, uh, in price from the broker's fee. That's all. <coughs> and we're finally oscillating up. Step one. Cross here. Step two. Wait. We're in need of pullback. Didn't quite make it to the neutral line. I'm pointing out some improvisations here because I, I, I gave a very strict linear uh, set of rules in the PDF and on the site. But you can see here that we are touching, at least we're about touching the slow moving average, that 14. Could have took a call there. That's fine. Okay. We're about touching again. And you're you're almost touching this uh, uh, the neutral line is denoted in our uh, PDF. You could have took a call there, but what's calling us out of this? We are in this gray area. That's why we put this gray area in, because some of trading is sometimes waiting. Yes, there was a trade there to the upside. All these candles, but one two three four five and how far have we traveled not very far at all it's the candles might appear dynamic but they're not very dynamic because there's not a lot of volatility and that when this gray area started here you could have known that you were in that range and if you can be disciplined and patient uh, because you're not getting paid by the hour. <coughs> you're trading. Wait for an opportunity where perhaps the market uh, would be in a better situation uh, for you. Or take the position, okay, this is maybe it's a range-bound area. I'm going to look for pullbacks on these candles, and I'm just going to see if I can pop out some quick calls. Uh, if you're more familiar with PA this uh, this candle here uh, this little doji is kind of like a shooting star pattern uh, that might call you out and you might say okay and you might be able to stop there but when I make these videos I'm mostly dealing uh, or speaking with people who are uh, younger uh, and not as familiar with these patterns because their trading their their trading journey is starting and so they they may not know that there was a shooting star right there they they may have not recognized this doji denoting that rumble in the jungle between the bulls and the bears so this dance might be uh steadily coming to a close that's why there's this gray area here so just avoid it all together and we've got a little oscillation here going down the step one two we've got that confirmation with the crossing there we've got a touch here all the way on the other side it's going down but what do we need for step three we need a move all the way back to the neutral line okay what's happening here we got a gray area. Gray area. The second this candle started, it would have been a gray area. So, what are we going to do? We're going to wait. If you would have got in at that neutral line there, what would happen on that next candle? Market continues on. Because it wasn't a ripple. It was a new <laughs> start of a new drift. By it's also confirmed by the candle closing this candle closed and now we're oscillating to the upside this is what this is what gives some people finicky with indicators but they don't understand that price action is just saying the same thing in my opinion they don't understand that because i can't speak for what everyone understands or or why someone is particularly upset about one particular thing but 
you don't have to be breathe easy price action down 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 cautionary candle right here that compression that's a stopping pattern you love VSA that's a stopping pattern you love price action that's a, a spinning top that's a stopping pattern same thing you love the indicators we've that's why we put the gray area in there's a stopping pattern again just take a time for pause and look you're rewarded because there's oscillation up step one but again we're still in a gray area let's wait a little while for some more confirmation the the arrow would have started showing on this candle but that candle has to close therefore the arrow really shows and is confirmed right here now your everything is showing you is being in a up cycle that's the drift shift that you're in so we're waiting for a retracement down to the neutral line could have got in there there's a winning call but again i'm just going to totally avoid these uh these areas here these uh gray areas there's not a lot that says you have to depends on your your comfort zone there's another opportunity nice move up i'd feel better about trading uh as i start to see a uh, stronger area there and uh that's all we see the market continue painting a picture of us just slowly pushing up and that's the drift cycle guys that's all we're doing we're basically uh, wave trading putting some PA uh, which is just putting PA using these channels and putting price action together with these simple indicators uh, someone also asked about multiple time frames we plugged in on this latest update we put the gray areas in and we also put in multiple time frames I'm gonna caution you there are some ways of looking at the longer time frames and I'm gonna talk about some of this right now and this is my opinion based on uh, using these indicators <laughs> and I'm not opposed to using indicators okay so how you use it is what's going to be important not the indicator not a bigger time frame is just going to make my trading more accurate or etc i know it's it's, it's this is going to make my bet more sure not that's in my opinion that's not a way uh, that that's not any more assurity because you're only making uh, the the point of reference is a five minute speculative bet because you're looking at because you're looking at a oscillation on a larger time frame doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to end up with a stronger bet because that time frame is out of phase with the time frame that you're on on the five minute chart but we've added it because there are some uses of a, a different concepts of looking at the larger time frames. Here's some things that I like if you can caution yourself out of looking for the sure shot. Uh, right here, we're on a five minute chart. Let's, let's go over here. We've got five minute chart. We're in a oscillation down we don't have the arrows on this chart because I'm just looking at the CCI uh, okay 15 minute we're oscillating down so if we're on a five minute chart and we drill up or set our CCI to 15 minute then we can then be aware that we've got both the five and 15 minute showing us momentum to the downside so that strength and momentum can be helpful and we're not too terribly out of the phase okay here 30 minute chart we are 
oscillating down but we we're starting to see some gray areas here so if we were taking a longer position that's kind of cautionary here yeah here we're on an hourly chart now we've got a gray area here on this hourly chart and again that's you see that's kind of we're way out of the sink from what we would have saw on a five minute chart simply because we're not each of these candles is no longer five minutes of compressed data it's 12 times five minutes of compressed data and it's kind of like if you're running a tape uh, you've got half inch tape when there used to be tape before everything was digital and so far as recording you had half inch tape and it's running at 16 inches per second or you've got two inch wide tape and it's running at 30 inches per second okay so you've got just totally uh, the the width or the time frame of these candles and uh, the speed uh, everything would be out of sync uh, so there's only there's the better use and this is just my opinion of multiple time frames is to look at the multiple time frames and is a uh, harmony searching for harmony over a multitude of different time frames and that strength and that momentum but when you go too far out if the concept is to be looking for oh, uh, uh, a sure bet based on the fact that longer time frames are telling you this what's happening on a one hour chart is not is of as much importance if you're only going to be involved in speculating at the five minute mark but if we're looking for more of a aggressive strength like maybe you're trading the uh, the impulsive moves it's a good idea to use the multiple time frames and uh, engage in interpretation on the five minute the 15 minute 30 minute uh, all of those charts uh, probably better for you if they're there's a, the same strong pattern showing up so that's why we added that to the latest updates to drift shifter and that's basically it that's what drift shifter is all about just catching a wave in the markets finding that wave and continuing uh, or getting a pullback pull back to some neutral position all the way down to totally against that wave and then taking that ride as the wave continues and that ripple that you just got in on gets washed out of the markets um, another little idea while well, before I close this video is perhaps moving your CCI up just one time frame maybe to 15 minutes rather than uh, five and instead of trading the neutral line trade the whole other side of the channel just another improvisation on a theme there's a lots of ways strategies are not going alone aren't going to win or lose you money your ability to trade a strategy consistently your ability to avoid psychological uh, issues because of losses and and that's why I went into scaling into a trade earlier when I started this video that would have been two losses or, or one loss one win and you would have still been profitable and no matter what it, that's going to be easier to handle psychologically or you could have just flat bet and took a five dollar loss and then okay the next bet you've won that's five dollars so you're up 350 uh, let's say on a 70 percent return and you're you're still down a dollar and fifty cent there goes the advantage uh, of not having a perfect one-to-one -one trade uh, on a EU-based broker. 
uh, it's just simple math. Oh, well, it's just math. I'm not gonna say it's simple. If if it doesn't make sense, rewind the video. Just rewind the video and and listen again. You're only getting 70% return uh, versus 100%. When I first started, uh, I was on a different site. These weren't called binary options, and the trades were one to one. Uh, that's not the case now. So. Uh, no, no, no big deal. We talked about an idea of how to play around it earlier. That's all we have to share today, guys. I hope you will download our, <laughs> our latest version of this product. I would say stay out of the gray areas if you're very new to using this, this strategy. Stay out of the gray areas avoid them part of making money speculating is not just the actual speculation but waiting on the opportunity see you guys in the next video this is alfred from binary options tutor i'll drop a link to this free strategy down in the description you guys have lots of fun wishing you lots of profits trading on the markets